What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're going to be reviewing Skylar and Pluck's Adventure on Clover Island. Now it's available on PlayStation 4, PC and even the Xbox One. Right now it's 35% off so if you're thinking about getting it, 35% off is pretty awesome. But even if you weren't actually going to get it right now, maybe you know you see this video later on. The price point for it, the normal price is $14.99. So, I mean, how can you beat that? It's like they're almost giving the game away, especially with how much is involved in the game. I'll get into my full review in just a second. I wanted to give you a little background of the game now. Skylar and Plux Adventure on Clover Island is homage to the highly regarded platformer genre of the previous decade. So, if you're a fan of ratchet and clank if you're a fan of, of you know platformer type of games then this definitely uh fits in the category that you guys love um now you know as skylar you were a snow cat and uh you take on mysterious uh missions because you have a mysterious past yet you join together with your sidekick plucks uh, she must stop the evil industrials uh, CRT from conquering and destroying the beautiful Clover Island and the many hidden secrets. Okay, so there are a lot of many hidden secrets and I would say if you do play this game, take your time and explore because there's a lot of hidden gems in there. I mean, that's one of the things that I love about gaming, especially about like platformer games because like this one for example they could have chosen to have a really you know linear narrow straight and forward playthrough of the game but they opened up the world and they have different areas that you can actually go into and find you know all of these hidden secrets which is awesome i love farming and i love actually going on an easter egg hunt uh, for different things like that so i gotta give them props on that and then also um, the jetpack um, <laughs> and the, the magical uh, magnetic love and then the time warp, the fact that you can actually slow down time so you can uh, slow down objects and defeat enemies that way and jump over things and go over hurdles of different objects. I don't want to give you guys too much of a spoiler and I included some early on gameplay. So that way, you know, I don't spoil too much of it. I wanted to kind of talk a little bit more about the game in its whole. Now, the game is awesome in my opinion. If you guys love platformers, if you love, cra uh, you know, Crash Bandicoot or even like Ratchet and Clank, then you'll love this. Um, it's not as linear as most of the platformers are. Like I said, it's a little bit more open and that's one thing that I love about it. And it, being able to find different hidden secrets and hidden gems are, is, is awesome as well. The upgrades and, and the different weaponry that they give you is awesome as well. I mean, it, it definitely fits into the arsenal. And, you know, some of the bad guys aren't that difficult. But then at times, like, some of them are, like, ridiculous. <laughs> but at, I feel that this game is awesome because every time you do something... It feels like you're rewarded and in a game that you're playing you want to feel rewarded you want to feel that accomplishment and this game definitely does that when you're playing the game I mean I've nine times out of ten when I've completed something I felt like man I just accomplished something and that's awesome and that's one thing that I look forward to and look in to when it comes to gaming um, Everything that they have got going on and, you know, like I said, the weaponry and everything in between is awesome. One of my, you know, one of my gripes is, okay, I get it. I know the game is only $14.99 and I know it, they had a low budget and everything and most of their budget actually went into the gameplay, which I appreciate because the gameplay is very fluid. It's very solid. I haven't had to deal with like any glitches or anything like that it's it's been great it's been great and for the price it's that's awesome but one thing that i gotta mention is the story line is a little bit cheesy maybe not so much the the writing of the storyline but the voiceovers are a little bit cheesy and i find myself skipping through those a lot of the time 
But even though I'm skipping through the story mode, and you know, that's, that's usually like 90% of the game, I'm skipping through the story mode, and, I, and I'm still playing this game. I've spent probably about 5-6 hours on it so far, and I'm not even halfway through. So, skipping the story mode and having like 5 solid hours of gameplay is awesome i mean of course i am one of those guys that you know just doesn't go through the story mode and want to play play through it like really quickly i'm in there i'm trying to like you know find all the hidden secrets and i'm trying to do different things like that so um i think that's awesome the only issue i have with this game is the storytelling and the the voiceovers but other than that I mean that's it it's it's a pretty solid game especially for the price i wish they had a bigger budget so that way they can build the game out even more um sony and playstation you guys need to get these guys on board and get them to do more games because this game in my opinion is well worth it like i said i like platformers um maybe not everybody's you know has that maybe it's not your cup of tea but for me this platformer definitely is and uh the, the fact that it's $14.99, you can't beat that. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think about this review in the comment section below. Give me your honest opinion because I gave you mine. <laughs> if you would take two seconds out of your day, hit a like. That really helps me out. If you guys haven't already subscribed, that would be awesome as well. And I will see you guys in the next news update. <laughs> you guys are freaking awesome.